studies show that Casual sex has little to no impact on longer term psychological well being. Things like self esteem, life satisfaction, depression, anxiety. Are you kidding me with this? Like, are you for real? Are you for real with this? She's actually telling people, as a doctor of developmental psychology, that there is little to no impact on longer term psychological well being that comes with sleeping around. Never mind that one in four women are on antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications or both, really. Never mind that women who are well into their 30s who have slept around have extremely low self-esteem and self-worth, which manifests itself into more promiscuous behavior because sex is the only way they can feel good about themselves. Never mind that the women who have successful careers have more money and power than they've, than they've ever had in human, human history are outwardly telling people, every, telling everyone who will listen that despite the amount of wealth, power, and influence that they've achieved, they're still unhappy because they're single and childless. Candace Bushnell, the woman who is quite literally responsible for women thinking that they can sleep around in their 20s and end up with their own version of Mr. Big in their 30s when they're all used up, she has admitted that she, is reg that she regrets not settling down and having children. Shonda Rhimes, who created Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, whose net worth is north of $130 million, is unmarried and childish. Think she has high self-esteem? Hmm? Think she's completely satisfied with life? There is proof all around us that women who sleep around end up alone, unhappy, miserable, with low self-esteem, who are depressed about being alone and anxious about dying alone. But here is Dr. Vrangaloba telling us that studies show that this isn't true. I don't need studies or statistics that prove to prove that promiscuity has negative, permanent, long-term effects on women. All I got to do is walk around and live life. Anytime someone uses stats or graphs or studies to prove their point, it shows that they know that their argument is inherently flawed. This is why I don't use studies or, or statistics, statistics on my show, guys. I don't need them. These blatant truths are staring us right in the face all the time. And anyone who doesn't see it is either choosing to remain willfully ignorant or they simply have no common sense. Because we see that same woman at the grocery store picking up wine, cat food, and ice cream, then heads over to the pharmacy to pick up Ambien to knock her out at night, Lexapro to keep suicidal thoughts out of her mind, and Valium to keep Valium, rather, to keep her anxiety about ending up alone and childless at 48 years old under control. We'll